Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. In the last part, well, what do you think? I'm in a castle, dang it! <laughs> and this part, let's go ahead and clear out a little, little pest problem. And I actually have an idea of what to call this, because this is actually going way off the beaten path into what is known as a... Let's say a side quest, because the entire part... Well, maybe not the entire part, but... I want to call this a sub-chapter. Sub-chapter 3. Which is... Chapter 3, but it's a sub-chapter. I'm not sure. I want to call it a sub-chapter, but only because... Well, it's, it's, I think it's a neat idea. Either way, we have to make our way into the basement. I kind of forgot which... Oh, well, that kind of helps. Alright. So he said, behind the archery... Be, well, in the training room. That's not the training room. This is the kitchen. There's the training room. It's the most well-lit lit room, well lit room in the entire castle. Except for the Great Hall. Now then, let's start looking around for secrets. Hmm. None of these move. Interesting. Now, why is that candle not lit? Something's up. There's an outline here, too. Oh. Ugh! Reek's back here! Well, looks like we found it. This is going to be interesting indeed. The grotto. Oh, suddenly I feel a little out of ease. Something doesn't feel right. Something really doesn't feel right. Um. <sighs> Thank God, it's just a. This isn't a dead end. Oh, it reeks back here even worse. Hello? Probably not a good idea to call out hello in a very dark place. You don't really know what's back here. Hello? This is making me nervous. Oh my. That's pretty. That's pretty nasty right there. Two undead people. One's carrying a sword and she... That is Lord Kane, isn't it? And that's Ariel. I will be damned. Ariel's still alive! This is just dandy. Oop. Uh. What's up, big guy? Yike! Looks like I'm in for a hard fight here. Okay. Haven't made you mad yet. Oh! I'm okay. Here's the doorway. I don't like your sword. It glows. And it's draining my power. You're a tough one, Lord Kane. But I'm just the complete opposite of a necromancer. Ow. 
<laughs> I'm alright. Knock me back, that's all. Dragon Sword of Lanelin. And Lord Kane's shield. This is all dandy, because now we got a lich to deal with, I think. At least I think that's what that is. I pray it isn't. The world of Arla Stones. These are powerful artifacts indeed. Are you saying this place is built on top of an alien ruin? That'd be interesting indeed. I perceive a very tough fight. And I've been spotted. Ah! Hot, 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 Fire bad. Fire very bad. Eek! I'll slay you. Don't you worry. I'll slay you. I'll. You're glitching. You're. Ah! Uh, you can get out of my inventory now, thank you. Which key? That means there's something down here. What's this note say, first of all? Ignorant fool. I have delivered Lane Lin to him, and more. But time is of no consequence to me any longer. While he is growing old, I will be only growing stronger to await the day when I will return to claim my rightful place among the powers of this world. The darkness is not so bad. I come to like it. My companion is not very talkative, but that is just as well. I see now that my procedure was somewhat flawed. The flesh was not fully imbued with life, as I intended, but his spirit remains strongly bound. He will provide me with an excellent test subject as long as I am careful to do no permanent damage. Sometimes I awaken and do not know where I am or what I have been doing. How to tell the passage of time here? Why should it matter to me? I believe the change is coming over me quickly now. My lord, Madame Mar Marco, be pleased. Deep night darkness. Sometimes sleep under moon invisible. How sweetly, so sweet. Night darkness. Silence. You're a sick-minded... You're a sick-minded bitch. That's all I gotta say. Alright. Ooh, hello. An iron warhammer. And some money. I always like money. And this is it. Well, there's a retreat now. That if I so wanted to, I could go to. It's not so bad here. Granted, a little dark, but... Well, that one could rest here. I kind of like it. It's a sanctuary of sorts. Although there's still a feeling of foreboding even after the necromancer lich has died. <sighs> well, let's just get out of here. So for now, you shall remain shut. At least the pests are gone. Now Battlehorn Castle is now rightfully mine. Strange. A thief living in a castle. You'd think they would never be able to attain this sort of status. Well, now with all the stones. I think it's time to, well, go out adventuring.
Lord Kelvin. Rest in peace. The castle is now safe. Alright then. Let our story as a champion begin. Officially at this point. Well, it started in the last part, but I mean... Y you get the point. Da dee da dee da. Alright. Let's go meet up with the man who's got all the merchandise. How can I help you? There's a new ship moored up in the world. The merchant's inn is where it said he would be. We shall see. Hello? Excuse me. Allow me to extend my congratulations on your daring victory. I am at your service. You must be Nilfus. I have everything you need to make the place more livable. Here, take this list. Oh my. Have you heard any rumors really quick? If you need to get rid of something quickly, check out the copious coin first. Which now deals legally? Certainly. Nah, I can't persuade you. You're a really friendly man. Good day. Anyway, let's read this note he's given me. I will happily pro I'll be happy to provide the following improvements to Battlehorn Castle upon receipt 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 of payment after goods and services rendered. Kitchen area, generally completely refurbished with everything needed to support you and your household. I will also provide the services of the most excellent cook, Platus Rasonius, whose culinary skills I can personally recommend as he was in charge of the kitchens at the Tiber Septum Hotel for many years. Wow. Bedroom area. Bedroom in the castle's private quarters will be fitted with the most luxurious furnishings and appointments, and the services of a maid accustomed to working in a noble household will be retained. Nice. Library area. The library in the castle's private quarters will be restocked with books appropriate to a noble's library, and furnished to provide a comfortable reading and working area. Dining area. You'll be able to entertain a high style once we have cleaned and refurbished the dining room in the castle's east wing. Barracks. I will retain the services of an experienced mercenary captain, as well as two men at arms, in order to bring the castle garrison up to its full complete complement. Training room. I will provide an experienced battle trainer who you who can spar with you and your men on a variety of weaponry. I have an excellent can candidate in mind, but do not want to name him until I am certain I can retain his services for you. Trophy hall. Trophy room in the castle's great hall will be re reappointed. I will also hire an expert taxidermist to create beautiful and lifelike trophies out of the most dangerous creatures of the land. Wine cellar. No castle should be without services of a well-trained vint vintner, and one of the best is now available. Talon learned his trade from his famous sister Tamika of Skingrad. He was also once a member of the prestigious Imperial Alchemy Sy Symposium, but was removed from his, its ranks for using the skill of alchemy and per perpetuate the mixing magical and alcoholic beverages. The alchemist's, the alchemist's loss is your gain. Using ingredients found in the wild and his keen sense of taste, Talon creates unusual mixtures the likes of which you've never seen. I trust that you will find much here of interest to you in your new position as Lord of Battlehorn Castle. Please allow me to be of service. I remain Nilfus Omillion, the Merchant's Inn, Market District, Imperial City. Wow, that's a long list. Whatever you and he just doesn't also deal in that. He also deals in well, some equipment, some potions, some food, and yeah. Note, however, that this is all fairly expensive. You're going to need to save up a lot of money just to get this. And right now, we just don't really have the money for it. He has no more uses on it. Um, how high will you let me haggle, my friend? That's pretty high. Okay. I'll stick to this. Hmm. I'll keep my outfit, thank you. You got a great. That's a good deal. 
I must forever now look like royalty. Lord Kane's shield. I think that should be kept within the household as a memento of Lord Kane. Just keep tradition. I don't want to sell everything because its prices have gone down a little bit. We could definitely sell some Florilla stones, though. These, I'm not entirely sure of their use, but all I know is that you can sell them for a ton of money. You've got to be kidding. Oh. Uh. There you go. <laughs> My bad. Alright. So now we have some money to buy some upgrades. And as you can see, this guy's got a lot of money on hand. 2,000, up to 2,000 gold, I should say. Yeah. Anyway. First things first, we want the kitchen up to speed. And then... What I want... Is our garrison to be back in full order. Now I'm flat broke. But hey. Thank you for your patronage. Indeed. You too. See you later, friend. <sighs> well, these pretty much take effect immediately. At your request, I've hired Captain Athan, a retired Legion officer with impeccable credentials, to take charge of the men at arms at Battlehorn Castle. I've instructed him to hire two additional men at arms, at his discretion, to bring the castle garrison to its full complement. I trust that this meets with your approval. As always, I re remain. Such and such, such and such. What about the kitchen? The furnishings you selected for the kitchens will be delivered promptly to Battlehorn Castle. I hope you get many years of enjoyment out of them. Thank you for your pat patronage. Hooey! That's quite a bit of money out of my pocket, too. <sighs> Afternoon. Afternoon. I don't want to wait. Let's go to the arena. <sighs> well, we could use a horse that's fitting of my status. The one I want all the way to Anvil. Let's go on. Hello there. If you're looking to join the arena as a com if you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the one. That's a lot of chances to fill your purse. I don't want to bet right now. Oh, all right. Very well then. If um, if you need anything, have a good day now. I already broke into that thing. Now officially, let's become an arena combatant. Gaiden Shinji. Sort of the arena. That's Owen. Right. Farewell. I'm trying to train you, weakling. Why don't you go someplace more your Excuse me? The mage is You wanna fight right now? I can do it. I'll win. Trust me. Stupid. I don't know who you are, friend. But you've got about ten seconds to tell me what you're doing in my blood works. Before I lop your arms off. Hey, no, simmer down. I just want to be a combatant. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you. My granny can beat you, and she's dead. Ahem. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? What is it with you people? You walk in, want to be combatants, and your entrails end up decorating my red room. All right. It's your funeral. Welcome to the arena, you filthy pit dog. You're free to fight so long as you know the rules of competition. Now let me give you your battle raiment. It's the uniform of all arena combatants. Do you want a light raiment or a heavy raiment? I'll take the light raiment. A light raiment, huh? Are you sure? I figured you for the heavy raiment type. You know, hide behind a skin of steel. Hmm. Okay then, here. Yeah. Put that on. See if it fits okay. When you're ready for a match, I'll be waiting. You want to fight? You talk to me. All right then. All right then. And then you can just kind of ask him about everything. Move on. Not joking either. Where battle raiment? 
right here. I feel a breeze. It's not very comfortable either. Well, I'm I'm ready for the first you fight. Run home to Mama yet, huh? That's a good sign. So, you ready for a match? Yeah, I'm ready for a match. All right, maggot. Looks like you're suited up in your battle raiment and all set to go. When you're ready to get eviscerated, just head up the ramp to the arena. Good luck. And may Azura have mercy on your soul. Azura, huh? Another god, I presume. Anyway. Hey there, pit dog. How's life treating you? Well, don't look down on me. Who is Gaiden Shinji? Are you serious? Yes. Gaiden Shinji was the first arena blade master. It was he who oversaw construction of the arena back in the first era. The arena was his dream. Hmm. To this day, an arena combatant lives by Shinji's credo. The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. To be the best, learn from the best. Ironically, Shinji himself was killed shortly after the arena was completed. Even he could not survive the 30-year siege of Orsinium. Huh. It's our home away from home, isn't it? I guess you could say the Blade Master and Battle Matron are our mother and father, huh? <laughs> mm. Farewell, I don't like Dad over there. Blade always strike true. And first. <laughs> Stop talking already. I don't like Mom either. <laughs> Definitely not. Not, you know. I don't want these two people in the arena to be my mom and dad. That's kind of... I didn't do anything. I'll just... I'll, I'll just set that back on. There we go. Alright. Well. Let's get this show on the road. Shall we? Alright then. Does I feel welcome? For this match, we got some fresh meat to brand new pit dogs. So let's not waste any time. Let the I hope a lot of you people bet on me, because I know I'm gonna win. Charge! Oh damn. Ah. Cheap. Yeah. Victory is mine. Now you're not allowed to loot the corpses, so it's unfortunate. Okay, yikes! That's a lot of blood. <sighs> there we go. I'm back. I didn't come here to chat, blue team scum. Crawl home while you still can. Shush. Or I'll knock you down flat where you stand. I really don't like this chick. She's really mean. By the nine divines, you did it. You actually won. You ain't so bad after all, pit dog. You may even survive enough matches to advance in rank. Here, kid. This is your payout for the victory. There's more where that came from if you can keep on winning. All right. Now go unwind before your next fight. Okay. Okay, so you're not a complete loser. Don't get cocky. Let me know when you're ready for a match and you can prove yourself to me some more. You bet. Uh, could you tell me about the battle matron? That's Isabel Andronicus, crappy old woman who sits over there. She's dear to me. So if you wrong her in any way, I'll rip your damn liver out. The fact that you looked at me very seriously there and didn't make it sound like a joke, I am legitly afraid. You're the blade master, correct? That's me, genius. Yep. Down here, I'm the boss. I don't care if the emperor's ghost is floating around. In the blood works, he answers to me. Okay then. Uh, Gaiden Shinji, anything you know? The first arena blade master. Best damn warrior that ever lived. Served the order of Diagonal. Got killed fighting the orcs. Azura rests his soul. Hmm. 
what about that Grand Champion fellow? The reigning Grand Champion is Agrinacro Mala. His fighting name is the Great Prince. He's an orc. Well, half orc, actually. Orc. So they say. The important thing is he's been Grand Champion for nearly a decade. Why? Because nobody's had the guts to face him. The Great Prince is unbeatable. At least that's what the people of Cyrodiil have come to believe. Maybe it's time someone stepped into that arena and proved them wrong. Maybe. Don't look at me with such a scowl. Just tell me the rules of competition for the nice people at home. You fight for the blue team. You fight against the yellow team. In order to fight in the arena, you must wear an arena battle raiment. The battle raiment covers your entire body. You can use your own helmet, shield, and weapon, so choose those items wisely. The battle raiment's already enchanted, so you can't muck with it. But aside from that, anything goes. Magic, stealth, whatever you need to win. You can compete in the arena any day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Just come to me, tell me you're ready for a match, and away you'll go. Got it? Good. If you actually manage to win a fight, don't get any ideas about moving your opponent's corpse. That's strictly forbidden. As you say. Um, heard any rumors? I heard a rumor that you're an idiot. Any truth to that? Okay, no need to be a smart ass about it. Jesus criminy. Get a move on. Anyway, you can get more raiments out of this thing. These are worth not a penny, so don't even try to sell them. You can take every weapon in here though. That's nice. And of course I know this corner fondly. What's up? Hail, friend. Good to see you again. I hope the arena has been as good to you as now, I still don't want to ask him about the Great Prince. There's a reason for that, because he'll send you on a side quest that if you complete, and you're in the arena, and you... Basically, at some point, you will face him. If you face him after completing that side quest, he'll not do a damn thing. I want to face him for real. Because if he doesn't do a dang thing, it counts as murder. And by murdering, basically initiate to the Dark Brotherhood. Where are your arrows? You just don't have any. Alright, claymore. More hammers. Eh, I could squeeze in one more fight. Okay, so you're not a I'm ready for a match. <laughs> now that's the spirit. You give the people of Cyrodiil a good show, and I'll make sure you get a decent burial. <laughs> I don't find that very funny, you know. Go rot in a hole. I don't mean that for real. Oh, come on. Just as I'm about to go into a match, I level up. <sighs> Let's do this! I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. Come on. Open the gate. Open the dang door. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the first few fights are pretty generic. Just... The pit dog from blue team and the pit dog from yellow team. Fight! I'm gonna kill. Oh, that's a heavy raiment. Kick! Ow. No, if I was getting tired, I would clearly show it. I can do better if you want. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Oh no you didn't! No, no you did not insult me! Okay. We need to set up a rule. No circling around me. Alright, you're wasting my breath. How does that feel, huh? That's a lot of people. Whew! 
bet your sweet ass I did. <sighs> yeah, if you just use the base new renewal every time after a fight, you get fully healed, so. Not a bad deal. What's up, Owen? Okay, so you did it again. What do you want from me? A hug? Take your gold and get out of my face, pit dog. I should seriously consider stabbing me in the gut. Maybe then I'll be Blade Master. Only maybe. <sighs> Either way, it's time for rest. You've done things the hard way, but without taking risks, taking responsibility for failure. How could you have understand? Well, understood. High speed, good personality. And then... Well, I think I should actually go for endurance. And that's a not bad set right there. Because endurance is pretty low with me, so... Best to raise that as soon as possible. Whew! Well... That's definitely the 30 minutes, so, uh... Sure, I can sit. There we go. So, yep. If I could rotate the camera anymore, I'd let you see the face of the character, but you never see it again, practically. Well, I could do this, which is basically just free look. Yep. And this has been another part. <laughs> Well, let's play Oblivion, since I'm going to end it here. Um, in the next part, I think probably do, like, a few more battles. I'm just gonna go and, like, get our feet wet in this deal and not actually, um, say, complete the entire dang thing. Because this is a story of a champion. So, indeed. But... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to say, as you can clearly tell. Nonetheless, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.